Good evening and welcome back to KTN Prime. In the last two weeks, our political affairs team has been focusing on members of parliament who are close family members. Whereas last week we told you about a mother and a son-in-law who belong to the same political party. In this week's segment of, of the August House, Duncan Hyamba brings you a report of two MPs who have married from the same home and belong to different competing political parties. Take a look. Meet Charles Ongondo Were and Hilary Kiplangat Kosgei, first time members of parliament who have married from a home that only has two daughters. Were is the MP for Kasipul in Homa Bay County and belongs to ODM party, while Kosgei represents Kipkelion West in the National Assembly on the ruling Jubilee Party. Both are diehard supporters of their respective party supremos. AU Special Envoy Raila Odinga and DP William Ruto. I was aware he was a statue jubilee, jubilee man, spearheading a campaign of uh, the deputy president. Uh, on the same, he was also aware I'm a diehard of Baba. These were two different worlds, one a jubilee zone, and the other one, an answer as well. Contesting for their parliamentary seats on different parties that were literally like oil and water in the run-up to the highly contested 2017 general election between Jubilee and NASA was not easy for these two in-laws. And their test came during the high-voltage presidential campaigns when their father-in-law, former Nyanza provincial police boss Kipkemoi Korir, passed away. During his burial, the family had to make a decision. Organizers and other fathers-in-laws pronounce. Uh, in this village now we have a son-in-law who is a, an ODM nominee. And you know as power culture, when you are going to bury your father-in-law, I have a very big team comprising politicians, almost 100 persons. You could just imagine what will have happened. One of our fathers-in-law, a seasoned teacher, a retired teacher, Mr. Johnston Corrill, took to the podium and announced, in his own wisdom, he realized that there were two different political ideologies that could you know, uh, create a conflict, if not managed well. And in his own wisdom, he told the Munas that we have two son-in-laws from different political parties and therefore politics was people were, were asked to keep away from politics their second hurdle was upon their arrival in parliament between august and november 2017 a standoff persisted after nasa boycotted the repeat presidential election as well as refused to recognize president Uhuru kenyatta's re-election Parliament was divided along party lines, a divide that caught these two as well. I remember when we were sitting in the lounge and you approached, you see a table occupied by NASA members of parliament. You know, they, they begin pinching themselves in the, in the feet as a sign of warning that it is time to be quiet. Because I, I, I do believe MPU could be a mod. <laughs> <laughs> is passing along. And those moments did not separate the closeness that we had with Wery. We knew that politically we were from different sides. But we used to have tea, meet, and you know, we forget whether there is ODM or NAS or uh, Jubilee and just become family. Coincidentally, the two leaders serve in the same parliamentary departmental committee on environment. And uh, the beautiful part of our committee is that we have elected to be a family first. But on this day, there was drama during a sitting of the committee. Ongondo Were, who sat behind his fellow brother, just watched as tempers flared up. Cause gay taking environment CS Keriako Tobiko head on over the volatile Mao complex conservation standoff. No, there's no politics here. You cannot call people's titles papers. You can't. You cannot call people's titles papers. 
They are given by government of Kenya. I know my brother was so much, ached so much. Sometimes I, I could even remember at one time he banged the table when uh, Tobiko was on the floor, the CS. But I could understand because sometimes in politics we take what we call political interest. No, that was a very awkward moment. I think because uh, the cabinet secretary, Keriako Tobiko, uh, did not manage his words well because we had an issue of the Mao evictees. And you see, this is a long standing issue. And whenever ever, any government is elected, they pretend like they have a solution to the issue of Mao. They even don't go to the history and to the national archives to read that the first eviction of Mao was done in 1911. So that 100 years later, there is no magic bullet to solve that issue. And uh, the abrupt manner in which uh, Keriako mishandled the issue is what uh, led to the flare-up. While attending family gatherings, the two who have married the only two daughters of the late career have elected to keep politics as far as possible, given the massive political divide between their respective political godfathers even though they still tolerate each other. And sometimes even at some levels, avoidance are also there. <laughs> because why do you bring even an issue which will bring intrigues within the family? But we understand. Politics is a game of sworn enmity. Politics is a game of interest. The, the only one thing which I liked from him, <laughs> sometimes when I invoke some wordings for Obama, eh? Uh, he smiles, but he has never made any bad comments uh, on Baba. Uh, that's a sign of political maturity. <laughs> and those ones keep the families on going very, very well. They are divided along party lines, but united by family ties.